Hello, this is the home page of the C4P vaccination tool. It's a costing tool for figuring out how much it will cost to introduce the HPV vaccine into your country. The home page is kind of like a navigation page for most people. It allows you to go quickly to different places within the model. So I'm going to go over, first of all, the left-hand side, which gives a, an overview of, of what the costs are based on it being filled out, and then go through each of these different colored tabs and colored squares or rectangles, rather, here, so you get an idea of where it can take you. First of all, you'll want to know that uh, the model version it will always be up on the top left hand side in this case 5.1.5.1 C ML means multi-language that means that you can use a French version that's included in this uh, tool or the English version and on the left hand side you're always going to see some really important final costs that are generated based on the information that you put in, which will be a projected financial total, how much ev everything's going to cost over the five years, the economic total, the projected cost over five years, that's including all the donated items and other items that uh, were not paid cash for, the projected number of fully immunated, full fully immunized girls, uh, F-I-G-S, so, or FIGS as we call them, the cost per FIG financially and economically here. And so if you're interested as you're going along, you can see up here on the top left, you'll see a button that says home, and you can click on that from almost any of the other pages or sheets and get an updated costing. Uh, based on what you've done. Now on the rest of the page here you're going to see that uh, you've got first of all a set of tabs that will take you quickly to different parts of the tool. Of course there's the home button and then there's the setup area where you're going to be putting in your uh, major assumptions. Uh, then worksheets where you're going to be putting in more detailed assumptions reports where you're going to be getting reports based on the information you put in and set up in worksheets charts which is basically graphs and charts of the reports that are given in tables and then something called plugins and plugins are little add-ons that will help you to do some more detailed cost estimates uh, if you need to but aren't needed for the actual costing your worksheets consist of eight worksheets, micro planning, vaccines, training, social mobilization, and IEC, that's information, education, and communication, service delivery, then supervision and monitoring, cold chain supplemental, that's additional cold chain that you're going to need to handle the additional vaccine coming in, and then other costs. By clicking on these, you can get basically to any one of these. So if I click on vaccines, that should take me to the vaccines page. The mic that's the micro planning page. So if I go to vaccines here, that takes me to the vaccine procurement page. I go home, that takes me back. Social mobilization, same thing, will take me to that page. Going home, service delivery, all the service delivery assumptions and activities here and of course you can always go back to home this way and then supervision and monitoring cold chain and other so if you're looking for a way to navigate and you prefer to go through this way this is one way of doing it if you like to think of things in terms of the steps that you have to follow then you can follow from the home page set up customization here this tells you what you have to do first and then the input the basic strategy 
what you need to do next and then complete the different worksheets starting with micro planning and moving on up from there and then reviewing all the reports that you're going to get as a result of putting in all of your assumptions and then also on this area here this can take you to the various outputs reports or to introduction cost reports and recurrent cost reports and so on okay and it will also take you to the different plugins that possibly will allow you to uh, use target population estimators and other data okay so you can see up here that you can use this these tabs you can use these to get you through the, you can use these to get you through you can use these to get you through where you want to go also notice up here that you can go to the tab the contents here and that will be a table of contents that will also show you where everything is the idea behind this is that some people like to use these kinds of tabs some people like to have a table of contents and still other people like to have tabs down here whichever you prefer we've tried to make this home page a navigation space so you can get to what you want to get to more easily and also see the bottom line numbers here that most people want to see.